Good afternoon, everyone. This is Mike Romali here with the Hurricane Outlook and this discussion for September 26, 2019, recorded around 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We have Tropical Storm Karen that is still holding on and winds are slightly stronger with sustained winds of 45 miles per hour once again. And uh, this has a very, very uncertain feature. Uh, this is likely to dissipate here in a, uh, in a couple of days, but uh, we'll show you here why that may be starting to dwindle just a little bit. And uh, Hurricane Lorenzo, which is an extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane, this poses really no threat to land, maybe besides the Azores up here, uh, as this continues to eventually find this weakness in the ridge and turn on out to sea and really be of no consequence to land at this time. Speaking of Tropical Storm Karen, uh, Karen is a 45 mile per hour tropical storm moving off towards sort of the north and east here, uh, which is expected to continue uh, for about the next day and then expected to stall out uh, during the day tomorrow and then weaken on Saturday into a tropical depression and become post-tropical uh, sometime on Sunday. So uh, there is a lot to talk about with the system, though. starting with the visible satellite here. Uh, you can certainly see that we've had this deeper convection that's uh, fired and maintained itself throughout the day today. Uh, take a look at the uh, whole entire visible satellite. Uh, this going back uh, from about 1 o'clock all the way up through about 3.30. And you notice that we've had this deeper convection that sort of maintained itself uh, throughout the, the really uh, throughout last night and then uh, throughout the day today. And that has sort of helped uh, Karen not dissipate as quickly as we, we may have thought. Uh, but it is in a little bit of a better environment, at least temporarily. There is signs that this may be entering a less favorable and very hostile environment out here, which would obviously prohibit uh, any intensification of the system. So there is a lot to sort of discuss with the system. Obviously, taking a look here at the IR presentation, we notice this deeper convection that has formed and maintained itself uh, really throughout last night, throughout the day today and this afternoon, uh, but there is still a little bit of shear, uh, actually a decent amount of shear that is impacting the system. You notice uh, really the outflow is expanding here on the southern side and we can take this on to the uh, true color zoomed out here. So just to kind of give you an idea, we have the outflow that is expanding on the southern side here, but really nothing uh, establishing itself off towards the west or encompassing the rest of the entire storm. You notice back on the visible satellite here that we only have some slight outflow to the north, uh, but it, the outflow is pretty good off towards the south. So that does indicate that there is uh, probably some northeasterly shear that, or northwesterly shear uh, that's sort of being uh, impinged on the system and kind of limiting uh, the outflow from expanding on this side. So that is kind of one thing to note there. The recon plane that was in there uh, just a little bit while ago did record a round of pressures of about 1,005 millibars. Um, so that would sort of uh, generally agree uh, with the uh, 45 miles per hour and the 1,005 pressure that was uh, from earlier. The 18Z guidance uh, that has come off for Tropical Storm Karen now starting to defer a little bit. We've seen uh, this intensification today only about five miles per hour, uh, but that has sort of maintained itself at least about 40 knots or 45 miles per hour. And some of the models do indicate some rather decent strengthening to about 50 miles per hour or so before uh, this thing begins to drop off. Now, most of the guidance continues to suggest uh, that this kind of drops off a cliff here throughout the next coming days, but some of the uh, models now still indicated to be a tropical storm throughout the five-day period. So it is going to be interesting to see what the Hurricane Center does. You can see the official forecast uh, calls for that uh, continued weakening, but some of the models now indicate that that necessarily isn't going to be the case uh, with a little bit less of the members trending down towards this uh, tropical depression phase and some keeping it now uh, in this uh, tropical storm phase uh, throughout the five-day period. So it is going to be interesting to see exactly what does transpire with that here over the coming days. Take a look here at the latest 12Z European model. Uh, this is valid out to 24 hours, the 500 uh, millibar uh, chart here on the uh, heights. And uh, basically what we're looking at here, uh, this is Tropical Storm Loren or Hurricane Lorenzo rather, and this is Tropical Storm Karen out to about 24 hours. 
You notice we kind of move this out to 72 hours. Lorenzo is finding this weakness in the ridge, in, in the uh, ridge right here. It's kind of finding that weakness right there uh, within the ridging. And uh, that will uh, certainly allow um, this to be kind of carried out to sea. But also note, here is Karen right there. And over the coming days, uh, this will continue to sort of uh, drift back towards the west. And this may enter a very unfavorable environment in this region. However, based on the latest intensity guidance, some of the intensity guidance uh, now that it's kind of coming out does suggest that this may find a little bit more of a semi-favorable uh, environment and may not completely weaken the storm. And mainly a lot of that is based on uh, how this is doing currently right now. Uh, definitely finding a little bit more in this favorable pocket right here. Uh, you can certainly see that we have this deeper convection that has formed. The center is still somewhere right in about here, so there is some decoupled uh, structure. There's a decoupled uh, structure uh, to the system, but overall, uh, as long as this deep convection sort of does continue, we actually may see a center reformation under this deeper convection. If that does happen, uh, that will be something to kind of keep a, a watchful eye on. Uh, but for right now, there is still a decoupled nature. You can actually kind of step back to the recon here. This is the deeper convection out here. This is where the center is. And you definitely can tell that is very decoupled of uh, decoupled nature to sort of what we have. The mid-level center uh, may be somewhere up in here where the low-level center is right here. So uh, we'll have to watch though if this deeper convection can sustain itself, A, or more convection can form around the center, B, uh, we will certainly have to kind of keep an eye on that. So lots to watch here over the coming days. Uh, of course, I will have a video discussion out by the 5 o'clock advisory detailing everything. And of course, Hurricane Lorenzo is obviously going to be no major threat to land. Uh, this will be a major hurricane, but turning on out to sea. It's a Category 4 hurricane, but turning out to sea may impact uh, the Azores uh, by later next week. So a lot to watch here over the coming days. I'll have another video discussion up by the 5 o'clock advisory. Hope you all have a great rest of your afternoon, and I'll see you at the 5 o'clock advisory.